Hello and welcome to this short introductory video on Frontline SMS. My name is Ken Banks, I'm the founder of QAnja.net and one of the team behind the Frontline SMS software. You've obviously found your way to the website, you've probably looked around and have a few basic questions before you get started or before you download the software and the purpose of this short video is really to introduce you to some of the fundamentals of how the whole thing works. So first of all you download the software onto your computer and bear in mind it actually installs on the computer not on any of your phones. To install the software you click on the download link that you'll see at the top of the screen and you fill in a very basic form and then you get presented with a link and some further instructions uh, telling you how to go about installing it and a few tips on technical support and other issues. Also in the download section of the website you'll see a section on requirements and some other bits of installation instructions. It's worth checking those out before you start plugging things in or playing around. Uh, all the information that you should need will be there. Once you've installed Frontline SMS on your computer and it runs on all flavors of Windows, that's Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP, Windows 2000 and Windows 98, you probably shouldn't go any earlier than that. It also runs on Apple Macintosh computers and on flavors of Linux, so it'll run on things like Ubuntu. Once you've installed the software on your computer, you then need to attach a device to the computer to send your messages. If you have an internet connection where you're using your machine, then you can send messages through the internet so you don't have to attach a device but if you're in an area where there's no internet or there's patchy internet then you'll need to attach a phone or a modem to your computer to use the software. To do this you basically need a mobile phone something like this will do. Um, there's a list on the website as I mentioned uh, and these are the devices that you need to plug into your machine. To plug the phone into the computer you'll need a USB cable and you can usually get these from your local shops or, or local markets. Uh, make sure they're genuine cables, there are lots of fake cables on the market and many of those don't actually work. You'll also need a SIM card from a local operator so again pop down to your local shop, your local market, buy a SIM card from there and when you buy these you're best to try if you can see if you can buy one that has a good messaging deal or messaging bundle, one that maybe has a thousand messages for a fixed price or a number of free messages. That way it will keep the price down for your project. You also may want to, if you can, see what numbers are available and choose a number which is instantly memorable because people will actually identify you or identify your SMS service uh, by this number. Once you have your SIM card, your cell phone and your cable all attached to your computer, you're pretty much ready to get going. In the contacts tab of Frontline SMS you can create groups and create individuals that you add to the groups. You can then select those people and send them messages. When they get the message on their phone, and bear in mind the users can have any kind of phone, something like this maybe, it's a cheap ZTC, all phones do SMS. Uh, when the message arrives on their phone it will show as coming from the number on that SIM card. If they then reply to that message then the message will go into the phone attached to your computer and Frontline SMS will read that message and bring it up onto your screen and add it to the database of messages. So you control everything through your computer. You don't need to touch the phone that's attached to your computer at all. You can also use these GSM modems. These are basically mobile devices without the screen or the keypad. You simply plug your SIM card into the side of the GSM modem and that will then act as your receiving device. This just plugs in the side of your machine. These are pretty good. Um, they're, they're more robust and more reliable than uh, using a mobile device so if you have the budget these are getting relatively cheap now. This is just one example of a GSM modem 
there are other ones on the market now. Uh, you can get them for forty, fifty dollars in some countries, so they're well worth buying. Uh, the advantage is that they are more robust. Uh, they don't require cables. Uh, the drivers usually come with the modems. Although if you're using an Apple Mac, you may struggle to find the driver for GSM modems. They always come with Windows drivers, but not always for anything else. And we use these for testing, and a number of users are successfully uh, using these GSM modems in their projects. If you have an internet connection available on your computer and the one that you're using with Frontline SMS, then you can send messages through online aggregators, as they're known, people like Clickertel or IntelliSMS. What you do with those is you register on their website, you use your credit card to buy message credits, um, then you add your user details into Frontline SMS, and then you can send messages through the internet through to your users, your human rights campaigners, your field workers, whoever it might be. The advantage of doing this is it's usually cheaper to send messages through an online aggregator, but not always, but usually cheaper. And it's much, much quicker. To send a message through an attached cell phone, it'll take about uh, a minute to do eight messages, roughly. That's the maximum output for any GSM device. It's not connected or associated with any software that you use. It's purely the way the GSM networks work. If you send messages through an online aggregator, then you can send hundreds and thousands of messages in, in no time at all. So if you're doing very, very large volume, then you might want to consider using an online aggregator. There are help files in the help menu. Uh, there's some videos on the video page of the community site. They should all point you to solutions and answers to questions that you might have. There's also the online community. You'll see a link to that again from the menu above. And in there you can join and post questions and connect with other users and help out other users, see what's going on more generally in the community. Also joining the community means that you'll get updates and news on new Frontline SMS releases much quicker than any other way. So it's certainly worth joining and sharing your use and interest in the software. So I hope this has been useful. Uh, it's a very, very basic, very, very quick introductory video. Uh, hopefully you'll be up and running in no time. Uh, there's a link uh, in the download section to a SMS quick start guide which we created with Ashoka, which is a very good way of quickly reading through some of the issues and some of the other questions that you might have. But other than that, over to you. Uh, best of luck. Please keep in touch with us. We need your stories and we look forward to working with you and helping you out in your social change work. Thank you very much.